Hello everyone, this is Daniel Glenn. And a colleague recently asked me how they can control whether a document in a SharePoint document library opens in the client application, Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, or within the browser. I told them that this is a setting that they have to look at in two different places. So I decided to kind of show you guys how you would control uh, that process. The first off, I wanted to show you what I found in my research. I went looking for official Microsoft documentation and found this article from 2014 talking about setting the default open behavior for browser enabled documents. Now, you'll notice this is for Office web apps uh, and as well as SharePoint 2013. This colleague was asking about SharePoint Online. Um, so I thought, well, maybe this doesn't apply. It, it does, the, the, the configuration hasn't really changed at all, but I wanted to do this video and show you how to do it, number one, but number two, to highlight that even though we're using Office uh, Online Server, which came out two years after this article was written, and using SharePoint Online, not SharePoint 2013, um, I wanted to show you that it still applies and, and how you might go about doing that. So let's take a look. I have a document library in SharePoint Online uh, open. I'm going to go to the library settings. And then while I'm in library settings, I'm going to go to this advanced settings. And I don't have to scroll down very far to see the opening documents in the browser settings. Uh, now there are three setting, three choices in this setting. You can use the server default, which I'll show you where that default is, how you can set that for this whole site collection. There's open in the browser, so if you want every document in this document library that has an associated application uh, to uh, on the desktop to load um, in the browser, it, you select that, and then open in the client application. So every Word document that you click on will actually open up in Word on the on the user's machine. Okay. So that's how you set uh, whether, what your preference is. Now, how do we set that site-wide, site collection-wide? Well, we go to the site collection settings, and I'm going to go do that in the site settings. This is actually the root uh, for your site collection. If, it's, if you're not on the root of your site collection, then you need to be on that site, the root site. And under the site collection administration uh, column, you'll see the site collection features. All right, so that's what we're going to click on. And then it's actually a feature that you have to turn on. And it's called Open Documents in Client Applications by Default. Now, this tells you exactly what it's doing here. Configures links to documents so they open up in client applications instead of the web applications. So instead of Office Online Server. So you can turn this on, activate this feature. And then by default, the, um, the applications, all your document libraries then inherit. You know, we saw that it's basically inheriting the setting from your site collection. Uh, if when you activate this, this will change that setting for your document library. So let's go ahead and click that, activate it. Make sure it, it is activated. And then cross our fingers that the, that the demo is going to work and that it works correctly. So we go back to the document library settings. Again, click on uh, advanced settings. And then we come back and indeed it has changed. The server default is now open up in the client application. Okay. So uh, again, we control our the functionality in two different places. We can control on the site collection for the default behavior for all document libraries in SharePoint. And then the second thing is we can choose every document library how we want that to function. Do we want to inherit that setting at the site collection level? Or do we want to instead have the setting set for this document library no matter what that setting is, whether that feature is turned on at the site collection level or not? I hope this was helpful. Uh, please hit me up on Twitter at Daniel Glenn or my website at DanielGlenn.com. Give me some ideas of things you would like to see um, and show you how to uh, and demonstrate those things uh, using SharePoint or, or any of the Office 365 tools. Thanks for joining me today.